I know this is not about history, uh, etc. In modern day country, a country's progress can be judged by the Olympic performance of the country. Why is it that India is having such good athletes with world ranks isn't able to bring gold medals? Yes. So yesterday it was a great day. Uh, our guy Neeraj, Neeraj was able to win the gold medal in javelin, in the javelin throw. Wonderful. Uh, but yes, you are right. India doesn't really do well in the Olympics, right? So uh, continuing from what I was saying earlier, uh, the real world is the the objective of, of sports is to show your country's uh, competence and superiority. The real world is the world of Vishnu Gupta Chanakya. It is not the world of Mohandas Gandhi or Jawaharlal Nehru. Mo, mo, these people, they, they showed us a fake version of the world. Ahinsa, non-violence, idealism, friendliness, brotherhood, all that nonsense. The real world is the world of Vishnu Gupta Chanakya. Please understand that. And sports also follows these Chanakya, Chanakyan principles of real politic. So it's all about winning. Now, you are right that the uh, sporting performance of a country is a very good indicator of the level of progress that a country has made. It is a very good indicator of the of the uh, level of development in the country. It is a very good uh, indicator of the living standards and standard of living and all that of the country. So a country that consistently does well in sports, one can say that it has a high standard of living because people are able to dedicate time to sports instead of trying to just survive, right? So it is a very good indicator of the living standards of a country. Now, the fact that India doesn't do well in sports is very strange, but it is not surprising. First of all, India is still a very poor country. People see sports is essentially a leisure activity. It is something that is a luxury and developed countries have this luxury. And that's why people are people are prosperous enough that they can spend a lot of time instead of working, uh, engaging in sports. There are there are there is an entire infrastructure and ecosystem of sports. So it is a very lucrative and viable uh, career choice in a country like India, where everyone is struggling for a single job. We have five thousand applications for two jobs, that sort of thing. In a country like India, when where there is so much artificial scarcity of resources, it is hard for a country like this to develop sports people because first of all people may not be able to get the right kind of facilities the right kind of coaching the right kind of training the right kind of medical uh, uh, attention the right kind of nutrition and all that the government doesn't care the sports bodies are all corrupt it is they are run like little fiefdoms by certain people by politicians often and the government basically in the past few years a few years there's been some progress and yet it is far from where it should be. Because there are, see, India says that it's a socialist country, right? If you look at the other real socialistic countries of Eastern Europe, etc., they invested enormous amounts of money into sports because they wanted to show that their political ideologies, socialism, etc., was superior to the Western ideologies. And that's why one of the they wanted to show that one, one of the ways of demonstrating that was sporting excellence. So a, a, the way a country is looked upon by outsiders, it, it, it basically depends a lot on its sporting performance. If a country is good at sports, outsiders, uh, people from other countries tend to respect that country more. They tend to admire that country more if it, it consistently produces sports superstars. Think about Jamaica. Usain Bolt. People admire Jamaica for, for uh, producing an athlete like Usain Bolt. It is so, something that people admire. And therefore, a country, the way a country is looked upon, a country's uh, image, a country's image depends a, to a great deal on its sporting performance. And the fact that India's politicians have never invested in sports and never bothered to make to improve India's sporting performance shows that they are not interested in, in improving India's image internationally. Right? So these are some of the reasons why, they, because there is so little investment in a sporting infrastructure, in sporting facilities, in, in supporting promising sports people. That's why India is not able to bring medals. And it's not about the Indian genetics or anything. We can, we now see Indian athletics have, Indian athletes have excellent genetics. They have excellent uh, abilities and qualities 
from the from an athletic and sporting perspective it's just that they don't get the right exposure they don't get good coaching they don't get good facilities once somebody is able to bring a medal that's when all the support pours in you get a great uh, a good government job as a police officer or something yeah subedar or something whatever the hell that is then you get a few crore rupees from here and there like they they're throwing it at you as if they are doing you some great favor but when a, uh, when you have a young sports person who has not yet been able to prove himself or herself there is absolutely no support whatsoever they are treated like like they are treated in a very very shabby manner and these are the reasons why india doesn't do well in sports the moment we will have proper infrastructure proper support india will over take countries like china india has that much sporting talent in its population so it's a shame that india is is not able to showcase its natural talent and abilities it's all because of these politicians who have no interest in improving india's international image